gyres. Before we even talk about what a gyre is, we have to talk about two types of circulation that cause it. The first is surface circulation. Since this is only happening at the surface, not underwater, it is mainly driven by wind. The second type of circulation is deep water circulation, which happens underwater. However, we must first understand wind patterns. The wind patterns are controlled by something called the Coriolis effect. The Coriolis effect occurs due to Earth's rotation and results in a deflection towards the right in the northern hemisphere and to the left in the southern hemisphere. Okay, let's do two examples. Let's say I start at this point in the northern hemisphere and I want to travel to point B. Since my point will be deflected to the right due to the Coriolis effect, I will correct by aiming to a point left of where I want to go. This logic also applies for the southern hemisphere. If I start at point A and want to travel to point B, I will have to aim for a point to the right of my destination if I want to account for the Coriolis effect. These wind patterns also drive convection cells. Convection cells are driven by a density difference. Remember, heavier items sink or fall and lighter components rise. There are two constant wind patterns that blow in opposite directions, the westerlies and the trade winds. At the equator, the air is warmer because of the direct heat from the sun. Here the warmer, lighter air rises and the cooler, denser air sinks, creating a cycle that is seen between the latitudes of 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and at the poles. The Coriolis effect also influences water movements, and now we can finally learn about how gyres are created. With the westerlies blowing in the opposite direction of the trade winds, water begins to mound in a large circle in the middle. Due to the Coriolis effect, something called the Ekman transport occurs. The Ekman transport pushes perpendicular or 90 degrees from the direction of the wind. As a result, the water begins to move in a circular motion and gravity pulls the water down, creating what we know as a gyre. In California where we live, the gyre rotates clockwise because we reside in the northern hemisphere.